So the NV Pro 3 diode laser from Denmat is just a remarkable tool. You can see how small it is. It's almost a little bit bigger than a Sharpie, which is pretty amazing technology. It's wireless and very easy for us to transport from room to room. And what I wanted to do was just demonstrate the settings that are on it. You see the red button here, very, very simple, is we press the red button and it gives us a icon that says entry. And what we're gonna do is you'll have a, a setting and here we just have four checks and that turns it on. Now, the diode laser here, the Denmat diode laser, has preset settings on it. So what you're gonna do is there's a menu button here where my finger's moving, little lines on it, and you're gonna hit that twice. And it says on there, procedure. And what you're gonna do is just scroll either up or down. You can see the arrows going up or down. And it will say, Apthis Ulcer. And if you hit the menu again, it'll give you the lowest setting for that aphthous ulcer. Now, sometimes we're doing a procedure that we want to increase the wattage. We can simply do that by pressing it either up or down to the setting that you want. We go back to menu, laser mode, procedures. So it's an aphthous ulcer, biopsy, class five restoration, Cuspid exposure for orthodontic use, phrenectomies, gingivectomies, hyperplasia, implant uncovering, which I like to use a lot. It's very non-invasive. Laser troughing for removing soft tissues over a tooth that's going to erupt. Recontouring, very important in my aesthetic work where we can just do gingival recontouring. And again, if you want to see what the settings are, you just press menu again, and it'll say one watt continuous wave. And if you find that you need to increase it, you can increase it to a higher wattage. So they're all preset at the lowest level. And again, procedure, going through them again. Socular debridement, our hygienist loves this for decreasing the bacterial count subgingively. We've gotten remarkable results and diminished or decreased pocket depths using the diode lasers. Our patients are very responsive to this, most of the time done without anesthetic, although you can. And then one other thing that I wanted to show you was putting the tip. These are disposable tips, and it simply slides on completely. Now, in some of the procedures, like a gingivectomy or laser troughing or implant recovery or removing of hyperplastic tissue or a biopsy or a cuspid exposure, we're going to want to initiate. And what we do is we have cork, and what we're simply going to do is you'll have your glasses on, your protective eyewear. We will simply initiate into the cork and all that's simply doing is charring the tip, which allows for cutting. We don't initiate the tip when we're doing our laser bacterial reduction, nor if we have a herpetic lesion or an aphthous ulcer where we're actually not cutting anything, so you're not gonna initiate the tip with that. So, phenomenal tool. We love it in our office. 